Hello, welcome to this Follow the Wire video for our OEM customers and partners. In this session, we're going to discuss the next generation storage networking infrastructure, non-volatile memory express over fabrics, or NVMe over fabrics. When it comes to connecting servers to shared storage, there are two main choices for connectivity, Ethernet and Fiber Channel. Yes, there are other options like SAS and InfiniBand, but these are considered to be more niche approaches compared to the volume of Ethernet and fiber channel used to connect servers and storage arrays in the modern data center. And in today's data center, these transports pass small computer system interface or SCSI commands between the host servers and the shared storage arrays. Now for Ethernet, this is iSCSI, and with fiber channel, it's known as FCP or standard fiber channel protocol. Now, as storage array vendors have started to deploy more flash and NVMe storage in their arrays for better performance, customers want to be able to access these devices using their native NVMe command set. And that means that instead of passing SCSI commands across the Ethernet and the fiber channel fabrics, we need to pass NVMe storage commands. Now, this is what is referred to as NVMe over fabrics. Now for Ethernet, the iSCSI world will transition to NVMe over Rocky or RDMA over converged Ethernet or to NVMe over standard TCP. For fiber channel, the FCP world will transition from the SCSI based FCP to FC NVMe. So why make this transition in the first place? SCSI has been around for decades and it was designed to support a variety of peripherals from scanners and printers to tape devices and storage arrays. There's a one-to-one -one relationship between the initiator and the target in the SCSI environment and that works very well for such a mix of device types. Now as the new arrays are being deployed with flash storage only, NVMe becomes a more streamlined approach for storage communications and connectivity. NVMe was built for the sole purpose of communicating to flash storage devices and therefore it's much more efficient than SCSI and has a multi-queue approach that enables a one-to-many relationship between the initiator and the target and that means when compared to SCSI more work can get done in the same amount of time. As storage arrays transition to be all NVMe storage, NVMe connectivity becomes a much better option than SCSI. There are three primary choices for NVMe over fabric transports available today. First is FC NVMe. For ex existing SAN customers, you know, this will be the go-to option because there's little if any change required to their existing FC SAN environment. Their investment in enhanced 16 gig fiber channel or 32 gig infrastructure will enable them to seamlessly add FC NVMe connectivity to their existing SAN. HPAs like the Marvell QLogic technology will support concurrent FC SCSI and FC NVMe communications using a single unified driver and firmware combination that simplifies the transition. Next is leveraging the Ethernet transport and network with low latency NVMe over Rocky RDMA. Now this will require RDMA enabled NICs in the host servers and a lossless network environment using things like data center bridging and priority flow control features uh, to be enabled. Now, there are a variety of network switches that support such an environment, and RDMA-enabled NICs are available to support NVMe over Rocky connectivity today. The challenge here is that the lossless Ethernet environment can be very difficult to set up and maintain, and is typically limited in scalability to one or two hops. Uh, not an ideal environment for SMB or mid-market customers with limited networking staff or for large-scale multi-op and enterprise environments. NVMe over Rocky is analogous to Fiber Channel over Ethernet or FCOE of the past. And as we know, uh, there were very few customers who were successful at really deploying FCOE outside of a blade environment. That's because of the network complexity associated with lossless Ethernet. The third option is NVMe over TCP. Now, this provides NVMe storage connectivity over the standard TCP IP network and is analogous to iSCSI. This will be the go to solution for customers who use iSCSI today and are looking for NVMe array connectivity as well. For NVMe over TCP, the operating system vendors are just now starting to provide support, as are the Tier 1 OEM storage players. Look for this approach to become more mainstream in mid to late 
calendar year 22 or early calendar year 23. As I mentioned, NVMe enables better performance. Now these slides bear this out and compare Ethernet iSCSI and NVMe over Rocky to local NVMe performance in terms of both latency and IOPS. On the left, you can see that NVMe over Rocky has about a 40% lower latency than iSCSI with software initiators. Now because NVMe over Rocky uses RDMA technology, this offloads some of the I.O. processing by allowing the NIC to directly access memory for I.O. transactions. This reduces the latency of each I.O. process. Now on the right, you can see that NVMe over Rocky delivers similar IOPS performance to that of local NVMe storage and much higher IOPS than compared to iSCSI with software initiators. Same story holds true when comparing FC NVMe to local NVMe storage and standard fiber channel connectivity. FC NVMe delivers 28% lower latency than SCSI based on the fiber channel graph on the left here. And FC NVMe IOPS performance is almost the same as native NVMe. That's the graph on the right. Okay, so if NVMe over fabrics is higher performance than SCSI based fabrics, you might be asking, how do the different transports compare? Well, here's that data as well. NVMe over Rocky is the lowest latency option with FC NVMe being very close. That's because both of these options are fully offloaded, meaning the adapters do all the IO processing and don't require host CPU access. Now NVMe over TCP on the other hand uses software initiators and so the host processor is involved in every IO transaction. This takes time and thus latency is much higher than with either NVMe over Rocky or FC NVMe. Now there are other differences as well. Uh, FC NVMe delivers low latency using existing SAN infrastructure. There's no rip and replace required and it's highly scalable for four hops or more with hundreds of connections. NVMe over TCP leverages existing Ethernet network infrastructure with software initiators and has you know, the higher latency than FC NVMe and NVMe over Rocky. However, NVMe over TCP has excellent scalability running over TCP on Ethernet. And as shown, NVMe over Rocky delivers the lowest latency, about 20% lower than FC NVMe, but it will require potentially a rip and replace infrastructure to support RDMA enabled NICs and that lossless Ethernet environment we talked about earlier. This requires a much more complex network environments and does limit the scalability. Here are the use cases we see for NVMe over fabrics. As I mentioned, NVMe over fabrics will become commonplace for SMB to the enterprise to connect application servers to shared storage arrays for many different customers. Now for general purpose business applications, Customers can use iSCSI today on standard Ethernet networks for its ease of use and its kind of good enough performance characteristics. In the future, the same customers will migrate to NVMe over TCP to connect to next generation NVMe storage arrays. Now for enterprise customers who run business critical applications or BCAs on this chart or mission critical database or VM farms, they need high performance with high availability and secure access to shared storage. These customers use fiber channel SANs today, and in the future, these customers will migrate to FC NVMe for connectivity to the high-performance mission-critical NVMe storage arrays. Now, for customers who deploy AI or big data type solutions where latency is a key consideration and compute resources need to connect to large amounts of local high-performance storage, just a bunch of Flash or JBOF solutions will leverage NVMe over Rocky connectivity to provide ultra low latency, but will be limited in fabric scalability. To make NVMe over TCP more viable in the enterprise, the SAN device discovery capability needs to be enhanced. And with Fiber Channel, every Fiber Channel switch has a name server which allows every device on the SAN to know what other devices are available. This isn't the case with iSCSI, so storage administrators need to map and mask virtually every port in the network to ensure proper connectivity. Now with NVMe over TCP starting to roll out, the folks at the Storage Network Industry Association, or SNEA, realize that they need a solution for automatic discovery in Ethernet. 
This is analogous uh, to the FC name server technology. And as a result, they have developed uh, technical proposals 8009 and 8010 to deliver this capability. Over time, centralized discovery controllers, or CDCs, and direct discovery controllers, or DDCs, will be added to the Ethernet storage network to provide SAN discovery. They, these will typically be virtual machines that can be deployed on any device connected to the network. Now, this will add a little bit to the complexity, especially if the user wants redundancy of the CDC and DDC elements. Marvell QLogic HPAs also provide simplified integration for the next generation NVMe arrays. We have an existing SAN fabric connected to legacy SCSI based fiber channel storage here in this diagram. Now we want to add new NVMe native storage to the fabric. These arrays connect via FC NVMe. And the good news is that most current enhanced 16 gigabit and 32 gigabit fiber channel HPAs support concurrent communication of both SCSI and NVMe commands on each adapter port. Where the complexity comes in is in the driver design. With Marvell QLogic fiber channel HPAs, the HPA driver supports both FC SCSI and FC NVMe today. Now, competitors require customers to add separate FC NVMe drivers to their environment to support the FC NVMe connectivity. This is an extra step that administrators need to take on each server in the SAN that simply isn't required if you use Marvell QLogic technology. Here are the things that are key that we want you to take away from this video. First, the transition from SCSI to NVMe fabrics is happening now and will continue for several years. Storage people move pretty slowly. FC NVMe and NVMe over TCP will be the most common approaches deployed from the SMB to the enterprise. And FC NVMe is the most mature and easiest of the NVMe over fabric protocols to deploy and is unlikely to be replaced by Ethernet based approaches down the road. Well, that's it for this video. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic to find out more information on Marvell and QLogic Fiber Channel HPA technology. And be sure to check out our other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. Thanks for your time and attention, and have a wonderful rest of your day.